Hey guys, good evening. <clears throat> wow, what a day. Hey, um, I'm getting beer training for, I do have a beer tonight actually, I needed it. This is a wild, absolutely a wild, wild uh, day. I was gone all day, I was out hiking, I took my family out hiking to the mountains and had a wonderful day. But then I come home and I just see the world's going to hell. The <laughs> hand basket, everything's going insane. So we're going to uh, – just wanted to cover stuff. I had to go live tonight because of everything going on. Uh, I almost went live yesterday because the market, there's it's, it's getting crazy right now. So uh, we're going to do some catching up. We're going to go through yesterday and today uh, market-wise. Although yesterday I'm not going to touch on too much, just how the market got crushed. And um, talk about what could happen next week. Because uh, it's 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 a little scary right now, I'm going to be honest. Now, there's some things we can get excited about, which is the fact that w this might be what we've been waiting for as far as the market goes. But um, obviously, I want to be um, very sensitive to what's going on because this could uh, end up in a lot of lives lost. And I just don't want to take that lightly. Um, we don't <clears throat> we don't want war ever. It's it's awful. So. Um, just awful, but we're going to talk through it. We're going to go through what's going on in Israel and Iran and, uh, and how that affects us here. Um, both, uh, politically and, uh, economically financially. Um, because that's, that's obviously what this channel is focused on. So, um, Spencer, you're first tonight, Donna. Oh, you were first as the members. Maybe we'll give it a tie. <laughs> uh, I already saw gold could open up as high as 2,600 on Monday insane if we have a market crash this means stocks with high naked shorts will explode the upside yes if they're trapped julian julian yes absolutely what's up peter oscar jc daniel darren so now what jeff john croissant uh toe cramp esk richie rich what's going on in the crazy world so much edgar danny frankie crito pat shagoya yoker from the heartland Israel attack Iran again? No, Iran attacked Israel. Market Watcher, what's up? Beetle. Uh, yeah, it is horrible. It really is. Oceanica, what's going on? Robert, Kathy, Richard. I went to Costco for gold bars. Apparently lots of people. I heard they're selling billions. Uh, you had too many of those last night. <laughs> Which NC Mountains? Uh, I got to ask my wife. I don't even remember the name of the mountains. We went to a place, um, uh, Hanging Rock uh, Park. It was awesome. Went and saw four waterfalls. Beautiful. Um, Israel Tech Monday. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, listen, we're going to talk about all the stuff with Israel and uh, the other countries. And there's no, I'll, I'll put it this way. Um, no one's innocent in this. I will say that. No one's innocent. And there's a, um, Iran even gave Israel a heads up that this attack was coming. Um, which is really strange, but they did it. Um, I, I don't know, just to make a statement, I guess. But um, yeah, so here it's um, Iran launched drone and missile attack on Israel. Iran fired 200 missiles and drones. Fears Iran and Israel's rivalry could spoke World War III with Putin rubbing his hands. I don't know about the Putin part, but there is talk that um, Russia's already put support behind it. Iran, which is going to put, you know, we've already declared our support for Israel. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's crazy, but yes, this, uh, Iran is saying this was a retaliatory attack. It was self-defense because Israel attacked first last week and that, um, and so they attacked back and they told the UN we're done. We just wanted to do that so they could stay within international law. And now Israel is saying, we're going to fire and all basically go back, um, just like they did with Gaza and, uh, you know, Israel's not to be taken lightly when they say stuff like that. This is, uh, this is heating up real big, real big. Um, yeah. 
We'll talk about the 29th later too. Calvin is going to make a difficult 60 days for shorts. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Richie, Hanging Rock's awesome. You're 30 minutes from there. Nice. Midnight, what's up? You were at Hanging Rock today? Beetlebug, shut up. I was there, man. Maybe we passed each other. Did you see six kids and me and my wife? <laughs> hey, Jeff, T. Alex, Thomas. Heard Iran's fire missiles. Yeah, most were intercepted, but some got through. Some got through. I think a... Um, Air base got blown up. Yeah, tit for tat Stephanie's and yeah, pray for Israel. Absolutely, pray for everything. I mean, come on, it's it's crazy. Uh, yeah, election. Putin knows Biden's weak. Oh yeah, yeah. Just yesterday, Biden told Iran don't, and they did it today. Isn't that crazy? I know. I saw, I saw that one. World War Three scary. We've been working for it. Yeah. So, um, let's just talk about what did happen, and then I'm going to talk about what. Uh, what could happen as, as I see it. And, you know, maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong, but okay. So this is breaking Israel's channel 12 reports. Senior Israeli official vowed an unprecedented response coming to Iran's attack tells Israelis not to go to bed. Can you believe that? Don't go to bed. It tells Israel. Um, that's pretty scary. That means it's going to happen fast. And, uh, anyways, I just, um, Israel has demanded a UN session with the uh, Iran Security Council. I mean, the UN Security Council, basically uh, going to look for permission to just go to go nuts on Iran, which um, that's pretty wild. Uh, so if it's UN sanctioned, then it could get really, really wild. But yeah, think about this. Uh, David Limbaugh put this. But the billions the Biden administration donated to Iran to fund proxy terrorists to attack U.S. assets in Israel. Think about Biden's failure to respond to hundreds of attacks. Biden's actively working on its initial interest. Just putting it out there. I'm not going to go deeper on that right now, but I believe this. I agree. Remember all the, the billions that uh, Obama and um, Biden have sent directly to Iran. So that's that's part of all this, too. And this is our vegetable lasagna. As the walls close in on this man, where he's going to get us to war in Iran? This is in 2020. Who who got us to our war, war in Iran? Huh? We're about there. That's uh, talking about Trump. Just uh, you know, they always tell us what they want to do by blaming the other side. That's what they do. It's called deflection. You you tell your plans by blaming the other side for doing it, and that's what we see right here. We've seen it a hundred times. Um, okay, so now we'll get into the what's going on in the markets. Um, let me catch up with you guys real quick. Israel attacked Iran. Iran funded. Yeah, well, that's true, JR. I agree with you. I did see Not Legal's latest videos. Very good stuff. Aaron, remember when Dictator Trump was our president? He had no wars. Yeah. I saw people trying to blame Trump for this. It's, it's like you have to be so stupid. You have to be such a moron or so just... Uh, so dishonest there's only two options you're either a complete liar or you're you're a moron that's the only way you could blame trump for this it's crazy what's up busy um vince why do i think finger and g tower were down i just think it was an attack yesterday they were green for a lot of the day and then they got attacked towards the end it's not to me it's not a big deal if, if it's in the natural scope of things they're up green but the shorts can still they still have a little bit to turn around and attack and that's what they did you lived in tehran 76 and 76 donna that's amazing i'd love to hear your story on that sometime wow uh haven't been on long joel a few few minutes 10 minutes all right dubois <laughs> Oil prices equal inflation equal rate yeah rate hike, could could though this might give cover for a, a cut here in a second. Aaron, you load up fifteen hundred shares of TPT. Huh, well that's cool. Good for you, man. You got more finger, uh, dude. Finger is a good price right now because that dip. Yeah, I'm telling you, I think next week finger is a big week. I really do. I just have a gut feeling about it. Miles, if they get the war started and get deep enough, won't matter if Trump wins because I already have the war. Uh, it still will matter. Trust me. He'll put an end to it fast. It will definitely matter. I, I don't agree with that statement at all. World is trying to get it out of the system. No, what they're trying to do is set the world on fire so they can avoid this election. That's what they're trying to do. <laughs> Busy's here. The party's over. Yeah, right? 
<laughs> I know that I saw the view said the eclipse thing. Uh, I just saw the view might be canceled. So that's pretty awesome. They could be morons. I like to like, that's true. I agree with that. James, let's see attacks on our infrastructure, mass migration of terrorists. Now excuse for use in Taylor, Iran. I know it's all happening at once guys. If, <laughs> if you didn't believe me when 2024 is going to get crazy, here we go. I even told you guys that, um, uh, if you watch my other channel, especially on a little look ahead on 2024, told you I think it gets worse before it gets better. And here we are. That's Kathy. Welcome. Thomas, do I think we'll have more correction on Finger Monday? It's possible. I don't know what to expect Monday. I think, um, I really think we're going to have a good week next week, but I do think there's a possibility we start Monday down. I do. And uh, and then we ramp up the rest of the week. That's kind of what I feel. Ace says, I don't know about that. <laughs> Let the pigeons loose if the view goes. I saw some on Twitter, but I couldn't verify it. So, okay. Check this out, though. Here's already the market response to what's going on, okay? Uh, the implied open for the Dow in Industrial shows a near 400-point drop starting Monday. And then Bitcoin's crashing. So let's go look right here. Um, so first of all, yesterday, uh, market crushed. Absolutely crushed. Almost down 600 at one point. Worst day of the year uh, for Dow. Second worst day for our worst day since January for S&P. Just absolutely shredded. So now the Dow is down so far almost 2000 points since April 1st. It's just been getting crushed. I think it's down 1800 points. So almost 2000 since April 1st, just getting crushed. Already the market's on edge. Already the market is struggling to to stay up at all. And now we have this, which is just going to throw all so much volatility in. And you got um Gold's down a little bit right now, but I this uh, is from yesterday. I saw something sh showing that gold could open at 2600 on Monday. So just wait for that because that's where people are going to jump out of stocks. And then Bitcoin is just getting annihilated. Let's see, Bitcoin's down to 64000 right now. It was up to seventy two not that far uh, long ago. And it got down, I think, as low as sixty two. So... Uh, crypto is just getting annihilated. People are pulling their money out of this stuff and, and they're going to be going. So I expect gold to be way up and, uh, stocks to be down. Um, it's, it's just, things are getting crushed, but you see, this is the expectation of Monday morning. So, uh, open of almost down 400 points, just, um, just wild. And then also on top of that, if markets were open right now, it's likely we would see oil prices need 90 a barrel. So surge of inflation could be caused. I mean, it's, it's going to get absolutely nuts. If this happens, what we're waiting for to see what's going to be the real kicker is if Israel does that retaliation, if Israel does that retaliation, watch out, it's going to get, it's going to get nuts. Hey, Matthew, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the family. That helps uh, pay off some of the food today. <laughs> I didn't pay for them. It's, it's expensive taking the family out, but it was so worth it. Um, party don't start till show G. <laughs> Black Swan's here, Maddie. It might be. Dame time transition and digital currencies come soon. We, we'll see about that. I'm not, I, I don't quite agree with you on that. I think it's, it's, it'll come, but I don't think it's what everybody thinks it's going to be. If you is canceled, so I can have our own show. <laughs> Every month from now until January, you're going to be 100%, especially from now until November to the election. Yeah. Um, ZJYL, I don't have anything new. Mad Max, I just know they're waiting on their shares right now. And it could go big when they get them. Oscar, you picked up 500 shares of Finger? Beautiful. We cannot over yet. I know. Oh, my gosh. Did I... Did I did I write the wrong headline I meant to do I ran attacked Sorry guys that was a that was a mistake <laughs> I'm going to edit my video right now Sorry that was uh that's a bad mistake right there It's supposed to be attacked by Iran <laughs> Oops Thank you for catching that <laughs> I I, I rushed this video cuz that's an emergency video So uh you can tell you can tell by my little mistake right there. Whoo, that was a good catch. I don't want that out there for long. You saved me. Appreciate it. That was not me trying to Bye, be uh, trying to be some weird hater uh, and something. 
Thanks, Ron. Good catch. Uh, busy back from Puerto Rico. Beautiful. I, don't know, I wonder what you're doing down there. What do I think about ZJOL? I think ZJOL is still going to have a run. I just I don't know enough more to 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 say when or how strong it is at the second. But I know the people who have it. So, how will finger and GTI spike if a correction occurs? Market. Uh, I'd love to go through it all. I've answered that so many times, but I did a, a video on it. Um, on uh, here, I'll share it on the, in the chat. Okay, ChatGPT and I did some research, and to prove it, it'll happen that way. And um, so, here we go. I'm going to post it in the chat. So you can watch this video and see how it'll happen, okay? That'll that'll help you uh, help you understand it better. Um, <laughs> nice drive, JR. Did I see Biden took off to the beach and he shipped him back to the White House? Yeah, initiated lid. Yep, well, we'll show that in a second here. He's talking about baking soda. <laughs> That's terrible. Thank you for the gifted memberships, Midnight. I appreciate that very much. So an interview with former U.S. general, he stayed every war game scenario with Iran. I, you know, Iran is nuts. And you're right. So now what? Israel did attack earlier this week. But, um, you know, <laughs> thanks, Dubois. But anyways, let me keep moving on here. Sorry. Um, all right. So this is in the last hour. This is earlier, obviously, but still. Iran launches beginning a retaliation attack against Israel. Bitcoin fell 10% less than 30 minutes after news. Dow Jones applied to open points, 400 point drop. Crypto markets erased nearly 200 billion in market cap. Where would oil prices be if the market was open? So expect oil to shoot up, which is not fun for any of our gas tanks. Fill up now. Fill up now, tomorrow, tonight, uh, before this oil price spike. All right. Um, let me keep going. Bitcoin's just getting crushed. Lowest level since March 20th, down 20% from an all-time high. Drop in Bitcoin began shortly after report Iran dro launched drone attack against Israel. Recent pullback erased over 300 million in crypto market. 300 billion. I just look at this this crash here. Um, not fun, especially not with the having coming. Uh, hopefully that helps correct it. Might be a good time to get in, but still, um, pretty pretty wild how fast it can happen. Um, they were going to have Biden speak and now the media is out there saying that, uh, it was a false CNN says it's false that he was going to speak, but it wasn't. They intended to have him speak, but Biden's physically unable to answer right now. <laughs> so, and I tend to uh, believe this much more because a president always speaks when this happened and who stepped up and spoke instead Trump. So you wonder who a real leader is. There you go. Uh, all right, let's jump onto this real quick. Uh, Ham just announced this, which surprised me. So it looks like the ringing of the bell for Finger could be, is going to be the 29th. And so that's pretty interesting because that's also the one year anniversary of the GTI div dividend delivery. Isn't that wild how that's lining up? I don't think they could have made that happen either. I think you have to get invited to ring the bell. So anyways, a pretty, pretty crazy, um, coincidence it, how could that be a coincidence I, I feel like that's an alignment now we have to see results maybe maybe it is coincidence but uh, I just think that's very very interesting uh, all wars benefit the elites at the cost of common man every single one I just wanted to share that because it's truth it's we shouldn't be excited about war ever big JR said crazy tries <laughs> um I'm going to go through some more here after I catch up on this, these little news things, guys. You got 10,000 GTI shares yesterday, Curtis? Dang, good for you. Uh, Northwest says, of course, Biden doesn't refill the strategic oil reserve after the Saudis decide to cut production levels. Yeah, right. Um, he won't open Anwar doing this intentionally. So it might be, yeah. Although it's really early for that. Oh, God, Arnolfo. God for you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, Biden did not offer anything today and that wild kit univest got top to run six to 256 on the last two days of april heard the bell gets rung by finger on 29th the last two days of, yeah we just talked about that last two days of april 29th to 30th oh that's interesting kit you know they also ran gdc i think on may 1st that's very interesting let me pull up my calendar here because um 
So May 1st would be a Wednesday. So what if they do a Friday or a Monday? The Monday would be the 29th, Friday would be the 3rd. Interesting. Yeah, they ran GDC on May 1st. That's an that's interesting little call there, Kit. Nice job. Oh, dirty Dubois. Yeah, we can't. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, MM uh, Ham just says the 29th. So you think it's made his poop his pants? Ew. <laughs> T Alex Ham is saying the 29th. So very screw in the S3 gives dates. Usually a one warrant for 10 commons. You think that's screwy? The S3, there weren't dates on there. <laughs> Matt, you're playing in the restaurant? That's funny. Yeah, they're getting their war, that's for sure. Yeah, GDC, May 1st and 2nd, so Kit says. Pretty interesting stuff. So that means that Univest actually has a pattern of running stuff at the end of the uh, end of the month of April. Uh, end of the month, April, early May. So anyways, um, I just thought that was very interesting. 2022 by Naputin, don't, don't, don't. 2023 by Niran, don't, don't, don't. And they both did. So there you go. Just uh, that shows it how respected our, our guy there. Um, Donald Trump had Iran broke. Biden gave Iran hundreds of billions of dollars. We're going to talk about why that matters in a minute here because I also know there's a, there is a full story here with Israel too. And it's not, so it, it's not like Israel is 100% innocent. Yeah, Trump went to address the nation. Joe Biden and White House caught a lid. I didn't see Trump's thing, but I think he was doing a rally. So uh, Joe Biden calling a lid, unprecedented response, unacceptable if he's not physically fit to, and blah, blah, blah. We need Trump. That's what it comes down to. I agree. And there it is again. So, um, so yeah, let's talk about all this. As you can see, guys, I, I just went through a lot for a reason. I just wanted to catch us up because <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of share my thoughts answer questions and uh and i'm not gonna stay long because like i said this is emergency live so i'm gonna share some speculations and show some um beliefs of what i think we're seeing um what might be coming and uh and then we'll see where we go from there but um yeah i didn't see as dates on the s3 kit i i didn't see any dates on there so and gdc had an 8k going out nice you gotta get the other people to subscribe. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know Crito on uh, the, the video. I just I, I kind of trust not on that angle right now. I think he's got more insight into the what's going on there right now. So okay, so just real quick because this is important. Um, first of all, it does have to be acknowledged that Israel did attack first earlier in the week. But what I want to say to that, and I'm not a um, I'm not a Zionist. I am not somebody who defends Israel at every turn. However, I also believe that um, it's very Israel has a very difficult uh, predicament they're in, where they nonstop get poked by the other bears. It, it, okay, it's nonstop. Um, Iran making threats. I mean, imagine living surrounded by nations that just constantly don't include you on their maps when they're teaching their children. Say death to Israel. Uh, call you occupied Palestine. Um, it's very difficult. And so I think that causes Israel to make a lot of mistakes because they're paranoid. And it'd be hard not to be paranoid in their position because they're also a smaller nation than the other ones. They just have, happen to have the big boys supporting them, which is the U.S., so, um, if I, Iran is in a very also predicament because they're being attacked by Israel because of their nonstop poking at Israel. And so you have to ask yourself, is it warranted? It's like when, uh, Trump killed Soleimani. I mean, I kind of thought that was warranted, even though like Israel or Iran didn't attack us first. Um, so is this one warranted? I don't know. I didn't look into this one enough to know if what Israel did was warranted. I don't follow everything Israel does. But I do know that Israel makes a lot of mistakes and they've killed a lot of innocent people. So first of all, I'm saying Israel's not clean. They're not clean. I also want to say that Iran is not clean at all either. And Iran's more dangerous than Israel to the, the vast majority of the world. In fact, I really believe if Israel was left alone, they would not attack anybody. I really do. But when you're nonstop surrounded by terrorists, people wishing for your death, um, it does not excuse anything they do with innocence. It doesn't excuse a lot of, I'm not excusing anything Israel's done. That's a war crime or anything like that. Not one thing. 
Hey, I'm just trying to give a balanced perspective of this. But um, Iran finally got tired of it. And what they did tonight, it, 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 seemed, it also seems premeditated. That's what I wanted to say. There's something more going on here. There really is. And I can't speak to every detail of it, but I can say this. We've known that the elite types have wanted a war for a while. They have. I mean, if you go back to uh, just there was there were people who knew that Hillary Clinton wanted to get us to war. They've talked about World War Three nonstop since Trump got elected, said he would get us in. He never did. It was peace. And then nonstop since Biden took over, it's been skirmish after war after skirmish after war. It's been nonstop. And that that kind of it's like wake up. If you can't see it, you're blind at this point. They want this to happen. They want wars. Um Ukraine and, and Russia should have been over. There was a peace deal. Uh, there's just they want wars, and there's a there's a lot of evidence that it, the neocons are also have Israeli ties. All that I'm not going to get into all that. Okay, because some of it I just don't know what to think. There's too much information, and and a lot of it contradicts. So I just can't tell you what I think about all that. I can say that um, I'm not I'm not throwing. I, I don't want Israel attacked. I don't. Okay. I, I don't, I, I tend to support Israel more than a- anywhere else than, uh, you know, the U S and a couple other places. But having said that, I'm not a Zionist who believes they can do whatever they want. And I don't believe the Jews are preordained special people, anything like that. They gave us the Bible. They gave us Moses and the law and Jesus. And I'm grateful for all that, but they're not, they're not special. They're not God's chosen people. Not, not like it was in the old days. Okay. So I don't have that thing going for me. What I will also say though, is that, uh, if this is really going down and it upgrades then I think our markets are about to go insane, I, I think it's going to be craziness. Uh, just, <laughs> I, I think the market was already about to break and this could push it over the edge. I really do. So do we see market collapse next week? I I give it at this point. If this is my if, okay, if Israel retaliates this weekend before Monday, I think that I give it like a 45 to 60 percent chance the market crashes next week. I I think it's going to be there or and then I'd say 75 percent by the end of the month. I think we really could be there. I'm, I can't be more confident than that because it's, it's, we've just shown too many times that this can be pushed off, pushed off, pushed off. And so I just can't, I don't know what to say on that. What I can also say though, is that when this goes, when the market goes because of all this, our stocks are going to pop. And so it's time to be ready. I think finger, the strength that's been showing, I think a lot's going on in finger. These warrants are a big deal. This, uh, uh, Whatever deals they're working on are a big deal. And I think we're going to get start getting more announcements soon. So Finger is, I think, right on the verge of having a substantial run. Will it be the run? I can't say. That's impossible to tell because we I, I don't know when we break them. But will it have a run? Yeah. And I think it's going to be significant. I think we'll be back up five, six, seven here very shortly. I really do. A week or two. That's what I feel like. And, and after that, who knows? GTI won't be far behind it if it if it has a big run. Um, so guys, we could this could really be it. This could be the event we've been waiting for, and it's crazy because it's in a foreign land. Okay, it is. Um, on top of that, I just want to say with World War Three, I, I think we could see some definite World War stuff come on, um, but I also don't think it's going to be um, as dark and scary as everybody says it is. Okay, I don't think it's going to be annihilation. I don't think we're going to be as involved as our, our politicians want us to be. Let me just put it that way. There'll probably be money sent, but, and maybe, maybe we get to the point some troops are sent, but there's people right now saying that they're going to start drafting all that. That's just not going to happen. It's just not, I just don't see that happening. I think what's going to happen is a, is a, is something that there's going to be enough going on where there's just fear and, and doubt and, and, uncertainty and craziness in the air now from now until November. And, and so they can use everything to scare us more. They can use everything and they're going to try 
it's going to be psyop after psyop after psyop to try to get us to be fearful, to try to give them more control. They are going to try everything they can to push off this election. They're going to try everything they can to steal the election. They're going to try everything they can to lock us back down. They are. They're going to do everything they can to mess with us from here on forward. And so we have to be ready. Hopefully we get a big run on our stocks and we're wealthy before all this happens. But I think between now um, and November, it's going to be it's going to be like COVID level, if not worse, mental attacks on us. It's going to be hard to know what's real and what's not real. We're going to have to just stay on X and keep researching. Um, and that also probably means censorship will ramp up. So if I have to completely run over to Rumble, if you guys don't see me on here, you know where I'm at. I got my channel on Rumble ready to go. Um, and so this is the kind of stuff we got to prepare for. But um yeah, guys, this is this really could be the beginning of some insane. Now, if if UN and everybody they get Israel to completely stand down, then hey, then we're waiting again. We're waiting again for something else to break. But this could be it. And so I just want you all to be ready. I haven't heard anything GDC going bankrupt. Okay, let me catch up with you guys here. Kit Benjamin Franklin always said entanglement must get us into trouble for sure. Big JR, several Univis big runners been beginning a month, couple end of month. Went back and looked at patterns. Okay. James, not Bob Dylan fan, neighbor, neighborhood bully about Israel's fight for existence. Pretty good. Yeah, that's true. Israel told the people, we'll retaliate. Don't go. I know. Uh, Ramadan ended. Okay. I, I did hear that too. You watched the video about the Fed wanting to crash the market, banks. Jerome Powell is a personal. Well, that might be true, Joel. And I don't think Powell has any love for Trump, but he doesn't have any love for Biden either. I do think it's both ways. They need to accept Jesus. I agree with that, Kip. Dustin, is there a date when ZJ Will is supposed to get their shares? Uh, about him next week? I have no idea. Yeah. So. David, it's all about trying to affect the election here. You don't use drones lit up. Big picture. I agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah, straight cash. That's it's tough. Okay, you think it starts to correct but not crash yet? Fed folds the idea of lowering rates. Expect the correction you do. Well, here's the other thing. This if this enters uh, a ton of volatility because this war ramps up, it could give them an excuse to cut. And I also want us to be ready for that. Um, this this could be the variable that changes things. So just be ready. This has been what they've been ready for. Northwest dropped their payloads. Yeah, it could be. JR, World War Four, World War Three will be us crushing shorts. <laughs> I like that, yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, the movie Leave the World Behind. I know, that was nuts. Uh, Jeffrey, agree no draft, but wouldn't that do wonders to whip the next generation into shape? <laughs> well, it would, but it also turned them into Trump voters. So now absolutely they'll try to scare us. Exactly. We have to have our brains ready, uh, guys, for all the, the attacks on, on this. David says, sorry, I would think we'll get an attack on the USA. It's po it's possible. I mean, it's I'm not saying it's impossible, but I don't, I just, I think there are a lot of people in place to help uh, that are prepared to, to stop that too. I really do. Gave the green light for China to take, to ta take over Taiwan? Really, Matthew? I didn't see that. I did hear people speculating about it but um victor can they invoke some war to war thing to stay in power um all right kid laters buddy have a good one uh they can't it's a, it's unconstitutional so um there's never been a postponed election in american history there's never been a canceled election um so Will they try? I, I have a feeling they're going to try everything they can. But I'm still very hopeful, guys. I'm still very hopeful about where things end up. I just um, I wanted to specifically speak to this event and what, what could start. And to me, it's going to be more on the PSYOP side of things. Doesn't mean there won't be a, like maybe a couple targeted attacks. I don't think they'll be huge. But I think it could, they'll be here and there. There already is, honestly. I mean, you see stuff uh, where immigrants are killing people. It's terrible. But um, so, but I think it's also going to be a lot of uh, fear about what's coming from the outside. They're already trying to get the viruses going, like the avian flu. 
Um, and they're just trying stuff and they're going to try everything they can to have an excuse. If they know they're going to lose the election to postpone or cancel it. And if they think they can steal it, which I don't think they can, I don't think they have enough, but if they think they can steal it, they'll, they'll let it go through and then they'll be surprised if they can't, but I don't think they have a way to do it. Um, well, I, I hear you ESK, but that was different last time and i already showed um that the markets are coming in low if they cut the market will fall it's very true uh, i think what will happen if they cut is the market will have an initial up day or two maybe a week and then it'll cr it'll crash my rumble channel is uh same as this just go well same as what this used to be ace in the hole and or uh rethink everything find it on there Matthew, Biden administration basically disinvolved Taiwan. Oh, yeah, I know that. That was wild. Could I kindly rerun over the basic for us, Malik? Um, well, real quick, Iran has attacked Israel. It's already causing a lot of market volatility. And it's uh, Israel's already threatened to uh, retaliate, which, um, because of all the details, could start um, a, a massive war. I heard Civil War was good. I'm going to check it out. I heard it wasn't actually political, so I'm, I'm interested to see it. You're just talking about Fox, about Biden proposing aid package? Of course, yeah. Candace, a lot of never happened before here happening. I wouldn't put anything past it. Well, that's true. But the thing is, is that um, it's very difficult to get done is my point when I say it's never happened. It's very difficult for them to have. And so, and the American people don't want it. Listen, nobody likes Biden. Even the Democrats can't stand him. The only reason people are voting for him is because they don't want Trump. Um, because they've been psyoped into believing Trump is uh, an evil dictator. And and even that, I honestly, at this point, I'm, I'll be honest with you guys, I really only think 35% of the country will vote for Biden. I think the rest is fake votes, um, illegal immigrants, stuff like that. I really just don't think there's more than 35% of the country supporting him. But... Um, and, and that means, but even of those people that would vote for him, say 35% of the country, say it's 40%, um, of those people, only 30 to 40% would su support postponing the election. So that means you have 75, 80% of the people of America who would not support canceling or, or pushing off an election under no matter what circumstances. And so that, uh, tells me because that's just not in our blood. It's not who we are as Americans. We don't do that. And so you only have the super crazy people who would believe that it's okay. Um, and because of that, I just think it's going to be very difficult for them to do it. Plus we have a conservative Supreme court, which won't um, allow it to happen um, on their watch if they can stop it in time. So even if we're at war, nobody went blubbering Joe to lead them. I don't know. I saw some stupid Democrat posts that were talking about how happy they were. Some calm and collected people. <laughs> oh, Toe Cramp, you're welcome. I do believe we possibly have terrorists here for sure. Mantan, Monday has more bank ER as well. It should be bad. Are you saying earnings? Monday is more bank earnings. Should be bad since Friday most of the bank was bad. Yeah, it should be a red Monday. I agree with you, Mantan, 100%. Yesterday was driven by bad earnings and banks uh, largely. That and the inflation for the rest of the week. So, um, plus, we're going to have PCE at the end of the month too, which is also probably going to be bad. Big JR, for the member lives notification issues, if. Ace can post to Twitter and all of us notifications for your post. Okay, thanks, JR. That's a good idea. Yeah, so post it, guys. Um, and I'll have a members live tomorrow. I still plan on it. All right, members. Dude, it's I'm telling you guys. Yeah, Vix broke up high. Yeah, it really did. So, anyways, uh oil will be sky high. Iran captured Israel cargo ship, blocking it for wow. 20%. That's just nuts. Um, I mean, guys, I'm just not, this is, like I said, I'm just trying to be very sober about this. Cause there's, um, there's good and bad things that can come from this. Um, but I just, uh, <sighs> it, it just sucks. It just sucks that people are going to be dying and fighting and all this. And this is just not what we, anybody should want. Honestly, you know, none of us want this. We, um, we just gotta be sober about it. Sober minded, but also know that we, we gotta take, um, 
we got to we got to take what's given to us and if if a crash is given to us we're ready for it you know by the way this is what i saw abc drops the view i don't know if it's true or not i can't but wouldn't that be crazy <laughs> nobody's watching anymore <laughs> the idiots might be gone that'd be pretty awesome <laughs> so there's some good news guys if it's true Barbie, you're told today if registered people don't vote, the guy said it goes to Biden. Interesting. Well, that believes me. I believe that. Candace, never thought our legal system would ever let trials go on. I've been with Trump. They're doing it right in front of our faces, not even trying to hide it. Same with, ah, 100%. Yeah. Could the market reach the... <laughs> That's bad, Matt. Nice try. Look at 2008 when oil breaker... I know. I remember paying uh, buku bucks for gas back then. Center Foreign Relations Hunter experts to smoke a peace pipe with the malls. <laughs> yeah, we need something, right? So, anyways, crazy stuff. Um, I think that uh, I did just drink while I said it, right? Um, anyways, I'll, I'll just take questions the rest of the way. If you guys have any questions, comments, I've kind of given my views. I, I, I still haven't fully digested all this. I just wanted to get out faster um tomorrow i'll be doing uh two things i'm going to do a members live uh so members i'll have more thoughts collected for you guys by tomorrow hopefully some more information too and um so you guys will get the the preview for whatever i'll talk about monday and uh you know maybe some extra stuff too and then um and then i'll also be producing a video on my other channel tomorrow about uh kind of like after I sleep on it and pray through this about kind of like the spiritual perspective, of what I think is going to going on and what I think God's uh, doing right now. I just need to, I need to spend some time in prayer and meditation, honestly, for that. Um, but, and so I'll have a video posted on my other channel for that tomorrow. Um, so that'll be coming. But other than that, guys, just uh, whatever you guys uh, got tonight, I'm just, I'm ready to kind of just, that was a lot. That was a lot I got out really fast, but, um, you know, I'm just learning about all this too. So it's on the fly, but, uh, I do think things could get pretty, pretty nuts here soon. Um, world leaders, they like to fight each other. Don't want to do a fight. Well, that's true. Yeah. God's plan for his glory, good or bad. Look for all the good. There's God's always up to good. That's all there is to it. And if it's bad, it's, it's, it's us and the enemy working on stuff, but God works all things for good, right? That's uh, Romans eight twenty eight. Would love the view to be canceled. Would that be amazing? You're welcome, Antonio. Thank you, Candace. For the first thing in your life, actually politically scared, scared of possible war coming, possible terror. Don't be scared, Candace. You know, uh, fear. First of all, fear is not of God. Fear is not wisdom. So it's not. Fear is never uh, coming from the right place. It's okay to, to process fear. Fear is a feeling we can't avoid, but you process it. But you don't need to be afraid. There is a plan in all this, and there's stuff we can do to set ourselves up and be prepared. And that's what you got to do. And, and trust that uh, as we get through this, things will get better, which I believe one million percent. There's not a doubt in my heart that once we get through all this, in the next couple of years, things will be better. Uh, better than they've been in a long time. I really, truly believe that. So don't be afraid. You don't have to be excited about it either because it's going to be hard, but don't be afraid. Uh, you know, also I love like in Dune where he says like fear is a mind killer. They have that whole thing. Just let's not partner with fear. We got to, got to, uh, just think and, and work through it. If God created the universe, where did God come from? Nice try, Jr. I mean, that's a great question, isn't it? But you're, so the question is, if you really want to go there, that assumes that the universe somehow existed before God, but how could the universe exist if none of it should exist, right? So we have to get past that's that's uh, binary and temporal thinking. We we have to think you're not thinking in terms of eternity. If there is no beginning, what if there was not a beginning? What if there's only a beginning for us? That's the real question. And it, our minds are too frail to think like that. Oh, Cindy Lou, I'm sorry you didn't get notifications. That sucks. Antonio, I will let you know my plans. Looks like right now um, I'll be in San Antonio to meet up uh, Saturday night, most likely. Okay? That that looks like, uh, and so we'll just have to figure all that out.
If Ham meets with Trump, <laughs> I hope he brings me. <laughs> yeah, watch the Matrix. That's a good one. Wouldn't the, it would be awesome if the view's gone, Brett? Maybe they get a job at Cartoon Network. <laughs> MSNBC, I like that. <laughs> HUBC and PRZO are good stocks to look into Ace. Okay, I'll look at them. I don't have any extra money for that right now, though, because I'm ready for ours. I think ours are getting close. Yeah, I agree with you, Joel. It sucks. What's up, Susan? I, I don't know what started the Israel's attack on Iran either. I, I don't. How can we not win with Russia? There you go, Matthew. That's how you got to think about it. They will try to screw everybody on the dividend, but with Finger, it's going to be very difficult because Finger's on the NASDAQ and Finger's a company that's got it together uh, and is a strong company on their fundamentals. It'll be much harder for them to mess with Finger than it was with GTII. What if we're butterflies sleeping? Oh, there you go. Okay, the view's not getting it. Okay, thanks, Northwest, for looking into that. Well, it was a good... It, it gave me a few moments of joy, at least, just to even think about it. It's a, It was a good thought. <laughs> it made me happy. Um, <laughs> oh, wouldn't have that been awesome? That's why I said I wasn't. I wasn't touting it as. Um, I wasn't touting it as news, but I was saying that it, it could be possible. By the way, here's another thing. Um, this is the Pax Gold price, which is um, trading on crypto, and so this kind of mimics gold sometimes, and it just spiked to three thousand. So that's that's why I kind of think um, there could be a really big gold run Monday. Large jump on the dollar index? Okay, I'll go look. Let's see here. Um, is it... Is this what you're talking about? Was William invited by Finger? I'm pretty sure he's invited by Finger, yeah. It'd be so cool if Hannah could meet up with Trump. Ham could meet up with Trump. Brett, on the GTI dividend, Jay, judgment's coming. That you've been lying to us for a whole year, lying on the annual date. That's very true. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right, guys. Hey, um, like I said, any last questions, comments? Otherwise, I'm going to head out. I'm tired. I had a very long day. But I did feel like I just had to talk uh, tonight about everything going on. It was just it's so crazy right now. And, uh, you know, if you're praying people, we need to be praying. We really do. Um, for, uh, for what's going on in the world, but also for our own guidance and how to, uh, how to protect ourselves and be a part of whatever God wants us to be a part of and also, uh, preparing for the future and stuff. So we, uh, we need to be ready for anything, but, um, I also think that, uh, you know, I think we could be seeing a real change here soon, uh, positively for our stocks and this volatility, believe it or not, um, as, as crappy as it is for the world, as crappy as it is for 401ks, it's really good for our stocks. So we just, uh, got to believe that we we're in the right place and, and we we might be finally seeing, um, our time in all this Oil's going to push over the edge. Yeah. What time am I thinking tomorrow for the members live, Brett? Uh, probably three or four o'clock be my guess. Eastern. That's usually when I'm able to make it on. I will really try to give you guys a heads up and I apologize members. I don't always uh, schedule them ahead of time because uh, weekends are such family time. It's I, I kind of just make them happen when I can. So, um, but yeah, I will try to be on at four o'clock tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, Northwest, you quit watching the View by Doctor's Orders, <laughs> right? U.S. shot down Iran Jones. Wow, just now. So we helped them shoot him down, huh? That doesn't surprise me. Do I think oil motions are a good idea for stocks really? You mean like buying oil? Um, I mean, you, you could make money on them. They're probably going to go up here soon, but not not big. So what did I think of Knott's video yesterday? I think Knott's on it, and I think we should listen to him because he seems to have a better idea of what's going on behind the scenes than most of us. So, Thomas Dubois, you're welcome, sir. Due to the high cost of ammunition, don't expect a warning shot. <laughs> I like that. Albie, what's up? Just want to say, what's up, man? UFC 300. Sorry, man. I got to do it. 
uh, Bread and Circus. I look. I love UFC 300, but I don't love paying for pay per view UFC. I don't have any friends to watch it with in North Carolina, so I don't watch UFC right now. But um, Albie, thanks for dropping by, brother. I miss you, man. We don't talk enough. Brett, you know the views hoping Trump gets in office because I'll have, yeah, their their ratings will go up. <laughs> there you go. Brett's talking about how you do it. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna just end in a prayer um, and bless you guys. And please like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, obviously I appreciate it. Uh, let's get this out there. Cause I don't want people to be afraid, you know, um, there's a lot coming and I do think it's going to get worse before it gets better, but it's not about fear. It's about, let's be prepared. So we can use these times, these hard times to be in the right position so that we come out the prosperous ones at the end of it. And we can help our friends, family, community afterwards. So, or even during, so, all right, I'm going to pray, get us out of here. Um, oh, real quick, Peter, if we squeeze, if we get the dividend and I sell our share, will I lose my dividend? No, dividend will be separate. The warrant will be separate. You won't lose your warrants if you sell your finger. Yeah. So, all right. Um, so let me just, let me just end in a prayer, uh, for all of us in Israel and Iran and the world and all, all the stuff going on. So Father God, thank you for, uh, what you're doing, Lord. Obviously you're not behind war. You don't love war. You don't care for you don't want people dying you want people to save it says in peter you wish for people not to perish um and so uh god we just pray that in all of this um good good comes out of it that you work behind the scenes uh with through good people and through any intervention on your behalf that you want to do and um, father we know that things are crazy right now and so we just pray for peace in the Middle East. We pray for um, peace in Russia and Ukraine. And, uh, but especially, God, as citizens of this nation, we pray for this nation, that, God, you would put in place the right leadership coming forward. You would uh, foil the plans of the enemy, foil the plans of those who have our worst interests at heart. And, um, and anybody trying to do, uh, I pray God that just every opportunity they have to stumble, they stumble, they make mistakes and, uh, their, their plans that are corrupt and evil, they all fall apart. That's, that's what I pray. And I uh, pray you put the right people in place to, to also stop these plans. And so we need a lot of help right now, Lord, but we're a praying people, a praying nation and, um, God, we, we love you. And I know that, God, our best times are ahead. I believe that's a promise uh, you've given me and many others. And so um, I'm just declaring that, that no matter what happens, the best times are ahead. And we bless our stocks. And God, they would blow up during this period so that we can all be in a better place um, to weather the storm and help those around us. So uh, bless everybody here with peace, rest, and uh, enjoy, even in these hard times, and also wisdom to make the right decisions going forward. And to, um, and to listen to you, Lord, listen to, to where you're leading them. Follow peace. That's, that's how I always know you're involved. So we love you and thank you in Jesus name. Amen. All right, guys, have a great weekend members. I will see you tomorrow and, uh, look for, if you're on, if you're subscribed to my other channel, look for a video there as well. Um, I'll be doing more of a breakdown. So 